Arafat, the former Palestinian leader or Arab leader, was born in Egypt. He was an Egyptian Arab. He was born in Cairo, Egypt in 1929. His real name was Mohammed Abdel Rahman. His first name was that. His father's name was Abdel Rauf. Arafat was his grandfather's name. It was Arafat al Quda, al Husseini, which was the name of his family clan. Arafat adopted the pseudonym Yasser to gain more respect by, by identifying himself with a famed Muslim warrior and companion of Muhammad, Yasser bin Amar. Later, Arafat took the name Abu, father of Amar, to afford himself even more respect. Abu Amar is what his associates commonly call him. Arafat was the personal protege of Nazi sympathizer Hajj Amin al Husseini, Grand Mufti of Jerusalem. Husseini, the first to organize suicide squads to terrorize Palestinian Jews, fled to Germany in 1941 where he collaborated with Hitler. In 1973, the Israeli Secret Service recorded Arafat ordering the execution of two American diplomats. He has permitted or directly ordered hundreds of terrorist attacks, resulting in the deaths of thousands of innocent civilians. Said Ariel Sharon in 1995, I don't know much anyone who has as much civilian Jewish blood on his hands as Arafat since the Nazi times. Ironically, in 1994, Arafat received a Nobel Peace Prize. Quote, the goal of our struggle is the end of Israel, and there can be no compromise, as Arafat was quoted as saying in the Washington Post in 1970. So frankly, we have got to stop deluding ourselves that the whole Palestinian cause is about genuinely seeking peace and just wanting their own state, and that's what it's all about. As Loe al-Sharif said, the Arab Muslim peace activist that we interviewed a few weeks ago, he said, quite simply, if they were offered a Palestinian state from the river to the sea, but there was just one tiny town controlled by the Jews, or you had an Islamic empire come in and take control of the land, annex it, but it's all under Islamic domination, they would choose the latter. Because it's not about political nationalism and self-determination, it's about getting rid of Israel, because to them it is so threatening to their Islamic supersessionist ideology. So it's important we're clear about this, and it's important that we don't bury our heads in the sand hoping that the two-state solution model will work. Actually, that model just perpetuates the problem because it's indulging in a notion of a unique Palestinian people with a, a national, genuine national identity, which actually is all a big lie in order to get rid of Israel. Stop indulging the lie, and the lie fades away. Hi everybody, thanks for watching. If you want to watch another one, click here. If you want to subscribe to stay up to date with all the latest JTV content, click here. And if you're feeling really keen, you can click the join button down below underneath this video where you can get perks including early access to new videos and private live discussions with me where we can talk about JTV content and strategy moving forward and I'll get to hear from you. Thanks again for watching.